Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps project and you already know that this is the second project. Okay, and in today's video, we are going to do the setup which is done. Everything is done automatically. Now, if you remember in the previous project, we did it manually and we wrote all those commands in when we went into the VMs and we wrote the commands, we ra ran it. So that's all we did. But now here we are going to do it automatically. Okay, so this is the virtual box that I've already opened over here and you can see there is no VM created over here. This is CentOS 8 VM, this is old VM and this is for my personal project. So please don't mind about this. But personally, we do not have anything mem related to memcache, app, database, etc. over here. All right. So before moving further in this video, we would like to request that if you're new over here and have not subscribed my channel yet, kindly do so. So without further ado, let us understand how do we do it. Okay. So right now I am in the DevOps project, second V profile project, Vagrant and automated provisioning. You can see that this backend, memcache, MySQL, Nginx, all the shell files that I've explained about are here. Okay. So we are going to make everything running using this Vagrant file. All right. Now what we are going to do, let's go to start button and then type git bash. We can open the git bash over there, but I need it for administrator privileges. It will ask you to open and then it will open for you. Okay. Now you can see that we are in this directory. Okay. So we have to go in the desktop directory. So you can copy this from here till the desktop, copy it over here, open it. And then you can type CD paste the command, but then what you have to do is you have to change the backslash. Okay. To forward slash so that you can do or you can just open it from there. That will also work. That's totally your choice. This is one another way of doing things. Let me do it. Hit enter and you can see that we are in the local setup. So local setup is the branch that we are going to do. Uh, we are going to run. Now what is happening that do not get confused. If you do not see any vagrant folder, it will come only if you are into the local setup branch. Okay. So once this is done, just type the command vagrant up and that's all. So it will take its own sweet time and you can see that dot vagrant file has created has been created over here and then we'll just go over here and then just monitor. Now what it is saying that it is bringing up the machine. Now the first machine that it is going to bring up is db01 and it is saying importing base box gear link guy sent to s7 that's the one progress 90% and you can see this is saying pack automated provisioning db 1616 in something number is over here. All right. So it is going to do everything on its own. So do not worry about that. All right. So this is going to take a lot of time. So you can just wait over here or I'll just fast forward the video, but I wanted to show you a very important thing. So what it is going to do, it is going to wait. Uh, it is saying warning connection reset. It's retrying connection about it. Disconnect. It will try from from its own. And until and unless it does not happen, it will not move forward. So we have to wait it over here and I'll fast forward the video. All right. Okay. Now, as you can see on my screen right now, it has created the DBVM and right now it's working on MC01, which is the memcache one. So again, it has downloaded the stuff from the internet, uh, the CentOS or Ubuntu, whatever it is going to need, it is going to download that. Right now, what it is doing is it is making a connection. It's trying to reset. It's retrying. It will wait until and unless these VMs will come up. It is going to wait. So if you want to check, check it out, just I'll just wait for one or two minutes. Then I'll see. Then you can see there Vagrant insecure key detected. Vagrant will automatically replace this one. Now it is setting the host name over here, over here and then configuring the files and you can see that it has started moving forward. So again, it is going to again take its own sweet time to create the VM and I'll just fast forward the video. Okay. Now, as you can see on my screen that two VMs are ready now, DB01, MC01. Right now it's doing for RMQ01, which is RabbitMQ. And then again, it's trying to do the connection reset over here. It's it will do until and unless it's going to make the connection with this VM and then only it will move forward. And this might take a lot of time. It depends totally on your internet speed that whenever it is able to download, then only it's going to install stuff. Okay. Now it's done. It is 
uh, like right now you can take a look like it is 23 12 which is the night time uh, at the time of recording this it's taking a lot of time okay so this is one thing again uh, I would like to remind that whatever sh files whatever shell files you are seeing over here these are the files that are also running in the meantime and they are using the vagrant is using these files and running in the VMs and things that we did manually are going to install here automatically so that's one thing I'll, I would like to remind you okay so let it happen uh, I'll just fast forward the video for the other VM okay okay so this is done and now it is doing for app 01 so if you can see on the screen you can find out that this is app 01 this is what it is doing right now and the completion of RMQ and MC01 DB01 is done okay so right now it's spinning the fourth VM so I'll just fast forward the video again okay so after a few minutes that you can see that four VMs are now up and running and right now it's working on web 01 which is the final and the last VM okay so we're going to validate from here once it's done let's wait for a while as you can see that it is 23 28 over here which is 11 28 at the night over here and it has taken close to 30 minutes for the whole setup I have not done anything manually over here just the vagrant up command was there and then it has done everything on the autom in a automatic fashion so let it happen it is going to take more time I'll just fast forward the video okay so looks like everything is done over here and you can see all the five VMs are up and running and this has shown that it's back to the control so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type vagrant status over here and let's see what is this so it will show the status what is happening over here it can take up to some time and then it will show the status and it is saying that DB01 MC01 RabbitMQ application the web 01 all is running and perfectly fine okay so what we are going to do we are going to log in through uh, web and then see everything is fine or not so let's open the vagrant file and I can open it in notepad plus plus perfect and then I'll just go to the web part which is this I'll just expand it so that you can see it perfectly so what you can do you can pick this copy this and paste it in the browser so let me open the browser you can open any browser of your choice I'll right click paste and go I think I have not done 192 so I'll just do that let's see and you can see that this is this has appeared over here okay so admin VP was the one and I think that's the password let me check control V okay that's the same password. I do not need to save it now there are other ways to do that other ways to log in as well what you can do is you can use the other name as well let me show you so you can use this name as well and I'll show you how to use that so in order to do that what we have to do I'll just go to the browser I'll just log out from here okay I'll go I'll type HTTP colon slash slash and web 01 and then I'll just have to hit enter and you can see that this is also possible again the same thing uh, I have to type admin VP and then in the password admin VP and you can see that it has opened it so everything is done perfectly fine or over here okay so now what we can do what we can just validate all the services so let's do that so this is the first thing that we have tested that our Tomcat and Nginx server is running perfectly all right. Now there are other services as well that we have to take care of. So first of all was the RabbitMQ. So if you can see RabbitMQ is over here and just click on RabbitMQ. Let's see what happens. Now if you are running it for the first time, this can take up to a lot of time like one or two minutes. Okay, so this can take up a lot of time because if you're running for the first time and that's what I'm doing over here is I'm running it for the first time. So it can take up to few seconds. So it will generate some uh, queues over here and let's see, uh, let's wait for another few seconds. I won't pause the video because I just want you to show the real time that what is happening over here and let's see if it generates some queues. Okay, in the meantime, this login happened, right? So it means that the DB services are up and running. So our DB services are only uh, one because the database that has the values 
these all these values this bio location gender and birthday this is everything is fed into database this devops for project management and strategies okay let me go back okay so all of this is coming from where coming from the database so this database so that means three things we have validated the db services the uh, the db services the app is up and running and our tomcat and nginx is running fine okay uh, i clicked on rabbit mq i think uh, it went it went from there so let me pause the video now and we'll just wait for the rabbit mq okay okay so as you can see on my screen now this is generated two connections rabbit mq initiated six channels one exchange and two queues so the spelling is wrong over here uh, you can change if you want okay I'll just go back. So my rabbit MQ is also running perfectly. All right. Now we have to check whether the memcache is running fine or not. So all users will be taken from memcache. So I'll click over here and it will show me some users. So this is the users list. This is the users ID 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So let us click on something else. So this is the user that we are using. You can use any user. I'll just click on seven and you can see this as admin VP seven data birth, this and this a lot of extra details okay this is coming from here now pay attention to this it is saying that data is from db and data inserted is inserted in cache so it means that there is a db and this data whatever we have clicked on is inserted in cache so now my cache has the data from which i have clicked this user now what will i do so it has i'll go back you can see that it has loaded all the users from the db and now it will store in memcache now i'll select the same user again seven and you can see how fast it loaded and this is saying that data is from cache this means my memcache is running fine did you pay attention to this this is one of those things that we wanted to test that our database and cache the memcache part is running fine so as soon as i clicked it took a lot of time now i'll give you one more example of it now let us click on this sai kumar and 12 data is from db and data inserted in cache so now once for the first time you click on it the data data would be inserted in cache go back and click on it again within a span of few seconds few milliseconds it took the data from cache so that is how it is done guys okay so uh, i hope you guys have understood it because we have discussed about all the things that we have installed in the system now we have validated it and now this project is up and running and ready to go okay so we have validated everything now if you want to stop everything what you can do is you can go over here right click over here and you can pause or you can just close the vm but there is another way to control everything so what you have to do you have to go over here let me just okay i'll just i won't clear the screen so that i can show you so when we type vagrant status over here it showed us running for all the vms right so now what we can do is we can type vagrant halt and as soon as we do it it will gracefully shut down all the vms so we don't have to go over here right click over here and then switch off the vms we cannot we we don't have to do that we can do that but we don't have to do that so that's another thing that you can do you can see that it is attempting graceful shutdown of vm for the web 01 then app 01 then rmq 01 and then for the one so you can see that it is written powered off over here powered off over here powered off powered off and then it will do the last one which is db01 attempting graceful shutdown of vm and it is going to take some time depends perfect and all the vms are down now now what you will do if you will type vagrant status now i'll just expand it and you will see what is the status okay so just wait for one or two minutes and then you can see that it is power off power off power off power off for all the vms and previously it was all running all right so uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed this series this is the last video to second project i'll be working on the other projects as well and i'll be pushing that to my channel so if you are till here i am congratulating you for then doing everything and this is this is such a great thing that you have done and it would be helpful for your career all right so uh, if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one